Hello and welcome aboard the Sweetwater Premium Edition 220DL. This boat has some incredible upgrades. Let's take a look. We're up in the bow of the 220 and I wanted to point out a couple of things. As you can see, a tremendous amount of space up here. Uh, lots of room for walking around, plenty of room for seating. Uh, lot, just a lot of space with this 8 foot 6 inch beam. Of course, that beam is going to carry all the way to the rear of the boat. Now, this boat is designated as a 220, but the overall length is actually 23 feet 9 inches with those 25 di inch diameter tubes. Uh, this is really a nice running boat. Um, I wanted to show you some of the special touches we've got up here. Uh, this soft touch vinyl is very luxurious. Extra stitching here in the seams, everything's just going to last a long time, but this uh, soft touch vinyl is just beautiful. It's also got a multi-density foam, so when you sit down, it's going to be softer and it's going to firm up as you go down. Uh, it's just a very, very comfortable chair. Sweetwater logo sewn in, of course. Uh, plenty of storage under both of the uh, uh, lounges up front here, port side and starboard side. You know, your life jackets and water sports gear and everything like that. Very comfortable uh, backrest angle uh, for facing forward. Just a beautiful, beautiful riding boat. Also nice touches with that upholstery. Walking around, you can see there's just a ton of room up here. That uh, beautiful carpeting that comes standard with this boat. That's uh, uh, one of uh, our carpet manufacturers actually created this pattern for us, uh, working with our development team. It's just a beautiful, beautiful style. It's very, very easy to keep clean. Show you this forward boarding gate here. Look how easy that is to operate. Simply lift that up and drop it into place. You're always going to know it's secure, uh, especially important when you've got kids on board. Flip that open. This pewter. Uh, rail skin here is really striking, uh, color coordinated through the entire boat, especially from the outside of the boat. Looking at this boat in the water is really, really beautiful. I want to show you the uh, uh, boarding deck here. Plenty of room to get on and off the boat up here. We've also got docking lights uh, that are an option on this boat. Uh, very easy loading gear on and off of this boat. Uh, just very well designed. And here's something else about this gate I wanted to show you, also new for this year. You can see how the gate actually arcs up like this. It's one of the many rail design features that would come up for 2013. Uh, something you just might not notice, but you're thinking to yourself, what do I like about this? It's just beautiful. Very subtle, but very tasteful design. A couple of nice features to point out midship here. Uh, we've got an incredible amount of storage. Kind of poly tub storage here. Uh, very easy to keep clean. Stack those life jackets up, towels, anything you're going to bring along for a day on the water. Tons of room under there. It's one of the things that uh, Sweetwater does really well, and that is uh, plan for storage. Seating and storage, absolutely great on this boat. Also, we've got another one of these um, uh, easy to use lift and drop side gates here. This one's on the port side, and when you pull up to that uh, dock, um, passengers will just feel very comfortable getting on and off the boat from here. Uh, loading gear on and off, again, very, very easy. Let's go back to the, uh, to the expansive bimini top here. Uh, very large uh, bimini, as you can see, covers a good bit of the boat. Strong and secure aluminum frame here. The square design makes it feel really tight when you're driving. Um, feels very secure and stable. Also carry that color coordination back here. Um, everything really ties in nicely from a design perspective. Moving over to the uh, starboard side, you can see the starboard lounge again has a lot of storage room under here. Uh, another one of those uh, polyline tubs. Uh, very easy to get in there and get what you need. Also keeps it out from underfoot while you're out on the water. Again, right underneath this helm station. Uh, this boat actually comes with an igloo cooler, fits in here nicely. You'll also notice uh, this is a fully uh, formed fiberglass helm. Uh, we've got this rubber gasket around here, so when you close this gate, it is really going to be quiet and it's not going to rattle like some of the other ones you may have heard about. Uh, moving over to the helm station, one of the 
trademarks of uh, Sweetwater pontoons is cup holders. So you're going to have these beautiful stainless cup holders everywhere you look. Uh, of course, self-draining, very easy to take care of. Nice little uh, quarter windscreen here. Uh, beautiful wood grain uh, dash. Of course, everything is very well laid out, very easy to see. This is a Lowrance X4 Pro uh, fish finder on this boat. Um, that's actually an option, uh, very nice, of course it just fits perfectly right here, very functional. Uh, oversized, high contrast gauges, this beautiful wood grain trim around it. It's just a beautiful design. Even touches like this, so we've got a flat part uh, right here on top of the dash, but we've got this little ridge here, so anything that you put on the uh, dashboard is not going to likely slide off while you're underway. Another cup holder here, of course the captain's got to have his cup holder. All your switches right at your fingertips. A convenient 12 volt outlet if you want to charge that smartphone when you're out for the day. A beautiful soft touch steering wheel here with tilt. Easy to get comfortable while you're driving this boat. Also a uh, Sony Marine Radio uh, that has the cover on it here. And it's actually got an auxiliary port there so you can play your, uh, your iPod or your iPhone uh, directly through the sound system all day long on the water. Here's a very good example of some of the upgrades that you're going to find on the Sweetwater Premium Edition series. Uh, take a look at this incredible captain's chair. Nice overstuffed headrest, beautiful supports here on either side, these thigh bolsters. really feel like it's hugging you into that seat. Of course, the arm the arms are very easy to adjust as needed, but take a look at this. Here's, the, here's what we're talking about going the extra mile. How about a captain's chair that actually reclines? Any position you, put, you want to get this seat in, go ahead and put it there. Adjustable tilt steering, adjustable reclining uh, captain's chair. You are going to be the king of this boat when you're driving. Moving back into the cockpit, as you can see, uh, passengers very, very comfortable here. Uh, deep stuffed uh, upholstery, uh, very deep uh, both on the bottom here but also on the top. And unlike some other boats you might have seen, uh, sitting in the corner on these seats is really the best seat in the house. It's so comfortable. Uh, again, that just fine, fine upholstery work, heavy duty stitching, Sweetwater logo, all those attentions to detail. Uh, really separate this one from the pack. Flip open this one seat here. You can see much more storage continuing through the boat. Seating and storage are the two big words on this boat. Of course, when you're back here uh, enjoying a, an afternoon on the water, you're really going to appreciate the uh, uh, molded cup holders here in this fine wood grain table. Again, that ridge around the outside. It's a small touch, but it really makes a big difference when you're underway so it doesn't, so your items don't slide off uh, when you're running. It can also, of course, be removed if you want to stow it and uh, have a little extra room here in the cockpit. Well, if you're looking for the wow factor on the 220DL, here it is. Here's the actual DL itself, this double lounge, incredibly large sun pad, two six-footers and a couple of kids, easy back here carrying that uh, beautiful upholstery work, just all the beautiful lines and design features, uh, nice angled backrest, cup holders on either side, why would you ever get up, right, if you're back here catching rays? In fact, there's also another speaker back here just for you. Of course, as the uh, Sweetwaters are designed, not only is it about the comfort and luxury, but there's also other features that you'll really grow to like such as this pop-up changing room. Help you get out of those wet clothes when you've been out on the uh, water. Get out of that wet bathing suit, pop it back down, and you are back in the sun. The rear gate, of course, is another one of those uh, very easy to operate, lift and drop. And I wanted to show you another thing here. You can also drop it into this notch, and that holds it open. If you got several swimmers coming in, you don't have to have somebody standing by to hold everything open. Of course, close it back up when you're done. As you can see, uh, the rail panel here has been uh, positioned at an angle, so it cuts across here uh, instead of going straight back and then, of course, uh, toward the bow. What that does is that gives you a little extra room back here on this uh, uh, boarding deck 
when you climb in out of the water, again, you're stepping on that very luxurious carpeting. Uh, climbing that uh, using that fold down aluminum boarding ladder, uh, using those hand holds to pull yourself up. It's at a nice angle, it's much easier to get up this year. Uh, hop up there, dry yourself off, and come on in the boat. Another thing you're really going to enjoy is this uh, uh, ski tow bar. Uh, gets you nice and high up over the, uh, the outboard engine there for those tubers or skiers or wakeboarders. Just a very strong, secure design. Uh, also beautiful with that, uh, with that stainless steel. This particular boat's rigged with a uh, Yamaha 70 horsepower uh, engine. This boat's actually rated up to 150 horsepower. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at the Sweetwater Premium Edition 220 DL. That double lounge is really nice, very expansive. Some of the nice touches on this boat, like that upgraded upholstery and other items. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.